Secretary General, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to thank the permanent missions of Italy, Thailand and Qatar for inviting me to speak at this important event. The International Day Against Drug Abuse and Illicit Trafficking is a suitable day for all of us to reflect on the world drug problem. Today also marks the launch of UNODC's World Drug Report 2013 at a high-level meeting of the Commission of Narcotic Drugs in Vienna. Based on this report, that, uh, there appears to be a decline in the use of heroin and cocaine in some parts of the world, but the use of prescription drugs and new psychoactive substances is growing. Afghanistan retains its position as a world leading producer and cultivator of opium. Myanmar continues to be the second biggest producer of opium. Cocaine production is largely unchanged from 2011, but its use continues to fall in the United States while remaining stable in West and Central Europe. In Africa, consumption is growing. The same is also true in South America with signs that cocaine is spreading to emerging markets in Asia. Amphetamine type stimulant use is widespread with methamphetamine pills, the most predominant form of ATS in East and Southeast Asia. In the area of drug control, there are major challenges ahead of us. They range from the 2014 withdrawal of international forces from Afghanistan, which will require the concerted support of the international community, to the need to increase our work in Myanmar to assist the government in countering drugs and crime. The drug trade and organized crime is fueling economic and political instability in Africa. Both West Africa and the Sahel need the assistance of the international community. We must also ensure that illicit drugs and crime do not hinder sustainable development in these regions and in other parts of the world. Regarding those people who inject drugs and who live with HIV, there have been some improvements. However, HIV transmission through injecting drug use continues to be a major concern for the international community. Overall, the situation related to drug abuse and illicit trafficking remains stable. However, demand has not been substantially reduced and around 200,000 people die every single year due to illicit drugs. Although the international drug control conventions are helping to contain illicit drugs, there are distinct challenges regarding their interpretation. These challenges include the violence generated by illicit drugs trafficking, which is so damaging in some nations, in particular in Central America. The unique problems posed by new but deadly psychoactive substances and the fact that some national laws and practices can be vulnerable to human rights violations. The real issue to implement the conventions according to their original spirit and intention. The first step towards achieving this goal is to recognize that the conventions were created to protect the health and welfare of mankind. UNODC promotes a balanced approach to illicit drugs founded on fundamental human rights. This approach must emphasize the importance of science-based prevention and treatment for problem drug users. Within the United Nations, there is a unanimous agreement on a roadmap for the discussion of all these issues. In 2014, a high-level review of the political declaration and plan of action will be conducted by the Commission on Narcotic Drugs, followed in 2016 by the UN General Assembly Special Session on the World Drug Problem. On International Day Against Drug Abuse and Illicit Trafficking, it is worth remembering that the conventions are powerful tools in the hands of international community, but they need to be used in the right way if millions of victims of illicit drugs are to be helped. I thank you.